The sea otter is the smallest marine mammal, lacking a layer of blubber. At one time, the sea otter was almost slaughtered to near extinction until the international agreement in 1911. The sea otter is a playful and intelligent animal, often considered a miniature teddy bear. In California, great white sharks are sea otter's primary pre predators. Feather sea lions, coyotes, bears, and eagles have also been known to feed on sea otters. Humans kill sea otters unintentionally by hitting with them with boats or entangling them in fishing gear and intentionally by shooting them. Their fur is a highly paid product which is sold internationally. There's other ways that sea otters are still starting to die nowadays. Some of these causes are known as heart diseases, starvation, and trauma. But the one we are mainly focusing on is the recently discovered disease in cats. This disease is known as Toxoplasma gondii, which is a parasite that is said to be found in cat waste. You might be wondering how cats are killing sea otters, how the Toxoplasma gondii is ending up in the sea otter's brain when it begins in the cat's stomach. Well, what happens is that cats will eat a rodent or a bird that is affected by this disease. The parasite then develops in the cat's gut and its eggs are released into scat. The scat, when talking about a domestic cat, will be released into the litter box that the owner flushes down the toilet and eventually ends up in the ocean. When talking about a stray cat, the scat will be found in someone's lawn, which will then be washed into the sewers by sprinklers or rain. When the eggs get into the ocean, they will be carried by currents until ingested by a filter feeder, such as mussels, clams, or oysters. Then the otter swims down to the bottom of the ocean and will ingest these shellfish and will become infected itself. The disease then causes the sea otter to get brain damage, which will eventually kill them. We have the power to stop this tragedy. What we're asking you to do is not too much or too hard. All we have to do is not to flush the kitty litter down the toilet. Place this cat into plastic bags and drop them into the trash cans. Also, if you have domestic cats, keep them indoor. Or if they do go outside and you happen to see scat on the lawn, simply pick it up. So why are sea otters important? Sea otters are important because they contribute to the ecological balance of the ocean. They eat sea urchins and other invertebrates that feed on giant kelp. Too many sea urchins and other invertebrates could end up destroying the kelp forest. The kelp forest is home to many marine species. Also, sea otters help indicate the health of the ocean because sea otters are near the top of the food chain. Scientists can indicate variations in the ocean environment by studying sea otters.